praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh for Yahshua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Hallelujah. Singing praise Yahweh. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Hallelujah. Singing praise Yahweh. Hallelujah, praise Yahweh, praise Yahweh, hallelujah, praise Yahweh, hallelujah, hallelujah. <coughs> he is sweet. I know he's sweet. I know storm clouds may rise and strong winds may blow, but I'll I'll tell the world wherever. I go <coughs> that I have found Yahshua and he sweet I know he sweet I know He's sweet, I know. Storm clouds may rise and strong wind may blow, but I'll, I'll tell the world wherever I go. That I have found Yahshua and he's sweet, I know. That I have found Yahshua and he's sweet, I know. That I have found Yahshua and he sweet I know hallelujah I was just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody I was just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. I'm a child of Yahweh, trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. I'm a child of Yahweh, trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. I'm a child of Yahweh, trying to tell everybody about 
trying to tell everybody about Yahshua. Who can save anybody? I'm a child of Yahweh, trying to tell everybody about Yahshua. Who can save anybody? I'm a child of Yahweh, trying to tell everybody about Yahshua. Who can save anybody? About Yahshua, who can save anybody? Hallelujah. About Yahshua, who can save anybody? About Yahshua, who can save anybody? Hallelujah. Yahweh is sweeter than honey. Yahweh is more precious than gold. Yahweh is the supreme authority. Still the hand has never yet been told. Oh, Yahweh is our heavenly Father, Yahweh is our Creator too. Yahweh is our Provider. Without Him, there's nothing we can do. Oh, Yahshua is the Son of Yahweh. Yahshua is our Savior too. By the Spirit, they are one. They are one. Never two and neither three. They are one. Never two and neither three. Hallelujah. They are one. Never two and neither three. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh for Yahshua. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father Yahweh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be Yahweh, all honor to his name. Praise be to Yahweh and Yahshua, his son. Praise be to Yahweh, all honor to his name. Praise be to Yahshua, Yahshua, his son. Hallelujah. <coughs> Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Oh, Yahshua, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom, I bring you greetings from the congregation of Yahweh, 342 Salvania Avenue in the Pittsburgh, Belsuba area. We praise Father Yahweh for you. I thank Father Yahweh, I worship him, I praise him, and I thank him for the mighty work that he's doing all through the land, through his people, through the words, through many different ways. We just thank Father Yahweh for keeping us, for guiding us, for directing us. Hallelujah. We pray, Father Yahweh, for all the many things that he's doing, for the words that he's speaking. <clears throat> I thank you for allowing me into your home today. I hope this is not your, just your first time watching the program. Word of Yahweh's been here at PCTV since June of 
95. Let's praise Father Yahweh for what he's doing. We're coming up to the close of 25 years of being here at PCTV. We thank Father Yahweh for you. Hallelujah. I thank Father Yahweh for allowing us to present the word. Over the course of these uh, 25 years, we have uh, produced three different programs and yet many topics on those programs. We had the Restoration Message, which started um, August 25th, 1991. The Word of Yahweh started June of 1995. The Scriptures of Yahweh started in uh, around Feb uh, between February and May of 2001. We praise Father Yahweh for allowing us to do the word. And because there were so many things that needed to be shared between my husband and I, my, pa first, my late pastor and, and even Brother Young, who was on the program, the three of us on the program, even in the very beginning. I thank Father Yahweh for allowing us to produce these messages so that men and women, boys and girls could hear what they need to hear. And even as we have uh, shared uh, so many of the magazines that we have written so that people could hear some of the topics that they need to learn about. Since, <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, since uh, we began, there are many topics that are, don't have a magazine, but many subjects that we have spoken because there are some things that we need to know for these last hour. You know, and as Father Yahweh is allowing us to continue to share his word, my prayer is that each time you have an opportunity to read your word, to read it, get your Bibles out, dust them off, and read them. Start at the beginning and see what does it say. It should say, in the beginning, Yahweh created the heavens and the earth. Because even our Savior, Yahshua, came in his Father's name. And in coming in his Father's name, he shared the word that needed to be shared. I'd just like to share some things today. I normally am reading scripture, scripture, scripture. But I need to just share some things and even share some of the, <coughs> excuse me, some of the topics that have been preached or taught uh, over uh, this uh, station. My ultimate prayer is that as you hear them, if it's something that you need to know about, if you don't know how to find it for yourself, call us. Come to the congregation. This is everyone's opportunity and time to begin to walk with Father Yahweh by faith in Yahshua if they're seeking for salvation. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Yahweh, creator of heaven and earth, through your son, Yahshua HaMashiach. Father, we thank you for your goodness, your mercy. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your tender mercies every night. We thank you for waking us up with the breath of life in our nostrils. Father, we thank you, hallelujah, for eyes to see and ears to hear. And the spirit made ready to receive your word. Father, we lift up to you those who watch the programs, all the programs, Father. We pray, Father, that even as they watch, that they'll hear the difference between what they're hearing and make a decision of faith to follow your truth. Father, we ask your mercy and your extended grace in the name of Yahshua the Messiah. Father, as you call them out of darkness into your marvelous light, we pray, Father, that each person will make the right steps to walk on that old path, even as you have given us your word. Father, we thank you for your keeping power. Father, we're praying that the ministers who are to share your word with your people, that they will open up those Bibles and cause them to read some of the scripture out of the word. Father, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your extended grace upon our lives. And Father, as we continue in this period of time, we just ask your mercy in the name of Yahshua the Messiah, your son, our savior, our master, and our soon coming king, and we say hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I praise Father Yahweh again for you. I thank you for allowing me again into your home. My prayer is that even as you hear 
some of the subjects that we have ministered. I did another program on the restoration message, and yet here on the word of Yahweh, I'm going to share some of the messages that have been preached between the restoration message and the word of Yahweh. There are many other programs that have been on the scriptures of Yahweh, and yet I'm not going to do them. But one of the things that we did do on the scriptures of Yahweh was the scriptures of, um, of Yahweh's truth. And we did do that message. And yet, as uh, we are in the last of the last days, Father Yahweh is calling forth a people. Even as I shared in the uh, Tabernacle magazine, Tabernacles represents a time when all of Father Yahweh's people are gathered together. And whoever they are, wherever they are, they will be gathered together as a whole people. And so we're looking for that time period to happen. And yet, there's many things that Yahshua must fulfill to get us to tabernacles. Because the earth has to be cleansed so Father Yahweh can come down and tabernacle with us. Right now, Father Yahweh, he can't even look on sin. And that's why he has Yahshua as a mediator and an advocate and an intercessor between him and us. So we thank Father Yahweh for what he's done and what he's doing and how he does what he does. I just want to share some of the programs that we have done, uh, as I said, here at uh, PCTV. The, uh, Yahweh's Watchmen, Yahweh's Law of the New Covenant, the People of Yahweh, part one, two, three, and four. Yahshua is the Passover Lamb, Yahshua's death, burial, and resurrection. And as I'm sharing these titles, I'm hoping that you're listening to what I'm saying and imagining what they mean if you have not already read them. Restoration and determination of Yahweh's people. Father Yahweh is bringing us and restoring our lives back to him. He said, come back to me, old backsliding daughter. Our foreparents turned away from Father Yahweh. And many things happened in the course of time. And yet as Father Yahweh is calling us out of darkness into his marvelous light, he's allowing us to see and hear the things that we need to know and what he wants us to do. Another magazine I wrote uh, is called, um, if you know his name, please use it. A lot of people say, well, we know the name, we know the name, but the question of it is, do you know, if you truly know his name, then you ought to use it because he said, in that day, my people shall know my name. And if we know his name, it says the name, it says those who call upon the name of Yahweh shall be saved. And so that's in the book of Romans and it's also in the Old Covenant. Another magazine is called Take Your Shoes Off, You're on Holy Ground. Anywhere we go, if, I, if there are two or three gathered together in Yahweh's name, then he is in, he's in the midst. So when you really think about some of the things that have happened, we've walked all kinds of stuff into the sanctuary in the past. And yet we want to honor Father Yahweh we want him to be able to come into a clean place and realize that as we are honoring him and reverencing him, we want him to come into cleanness. We have this, another magazine that's called Come Clean Before Yahweh. You know, a lot of things are happening. We're seeing many people die. I've had people that have died in my family. I'm sure you've had people that have died in your family. And yet no matter what happens, each one of us, have to do what Father Yahweh's word says as far as if we're going to a funeral, if we're going to a cemetery, hallelujah, if we're going to a graveyard. He said, wash, wash, put that water separation on you and, and wash that third day. And then so you can be washed and clean on the seventh day. The blood of Yahshua is what cleanses us from sin. And yet Father Yahweh also wants us to prepare our clothes and our bodies to come back before him. So if we do, <coughs> excuse me, if we do that and we read his word and we see what it says, then all things will work together for us. We have magazines on the fivefold ministry and gifts, the wages of sin and the gifts of Yahweh. This, uh, Romans chapter six, verse 23, it says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through and by 
Yahshua the Messiah. All of us have sinned. Once Adam and Eve ate from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, sin came into the world. Sin entered into every one of us. All of us have a sin nature. But as we repent of sin and die daily, die daily, put off the flesh, put on the spirit, then we are coming closer and closer to the place where Father Yahweh wants us to be. So the wages of sin is death, but Father Yahweh sent Yahshua to save us from our sin. And because he sent Yahshua to save us from our sin, as we repent of our sin and acknowledge that Father Yahweh sent him, if we truly believe in him by faith, then we're going to keep Father Yahweh's commandments and be the people that he's calling us to be. <clears throat> Normally I'm in the Bible just reading scripture, reading scripture, if any of you have seen me before. And yet I just want to share some of the titles of some of the messages that have been presented. Another one is a remnant to be saved. There is a remnant that's still on this earth, even right now, and they are not going to die. They are not going to die. They're going to see Yahshua coming out of the cloud. They're going to be changed in the twinkling of an eye. And so sometimes Father Yahweh shares with, and there's many people right now who know who they are, who are going to usher into the kingdom. And yet those who die in Yahshua are going to be resurrected to meet him in the air. Hallelujah. At the last trump. So we want to, no matter what we do, do what Father Yahweh's word says to do. We have a magazine called The Law of Yahweh and The Love of Yahweh. I have a magazine on love. I have a magazine on the law of Yahweh. The people we meet, sometimes we've done messages and we've done them with other producers over the course of the years. Forgiveness, part one and two. Deliverance, deliverance. Every one of us, listen, need to be delivered or, or have been delivered from something. And even as we go into this last hour, deeper and deeper into Yahweh's last hour, we're going to see many things that are going to happen and many things that we need to do where people need to be um, delivered from something. Um, when we're talking about demon spirits, demon spirits are real. Lucifer, when he fell, and that one-third of the angels that fell with him, they became demonic spirits, demon spirits. Those demon spirits oppress, afflict, vex, possess, and oppress. And so we, as a people, we want to be loosed from off of those spirits. And the way to do that is to obey Father Yahweh's commandments, first of all, and to realize that as we obey him, that he does many things in us. Then there's the process of prayer. There's a the process of laying on of hands. And there's a the process of binding and loosing. We want to, some people have that, that power to cast out demons. The scripture said, and these signs shall follow them. He said, we shall speak in new tongues. We shall cast out demons. We shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. If we drink any deadly thing, it will not harm us. And then if a serpent comes, uh, it will... Um, we'll be able to uh, cast off that, that uh, serpent. So we want to be able to be what Father Yahweh wants us to be, be at the place he wants us to be. And if we are there, then all things work together for good to them who love Yahweh and who are called, called according to his purpose. We have a magazine, uh, uh, a message on persecution. I uh, did five messages where I wrote on 11 by 17 paper. And I wrote, uh, I started with forgiveness, then deliverance, persecution, uh, hallelujah, praise Yahweh. And the last one was called cry holiness. Father Yahweh has called for me to cry holiness. And when we really think about some of the things that are happening in the many, many of the congregations, assemblies, the churches, whatever you call your place. Listen, Father Yahweh wants us to come before him holy. The scripture says, if someone is naked, cover them. You know, a lot of times, some of the things people want to wear, and sometimes people don't know, sometimes they're coming, they're seeking for the word, they don't have what they need. So we try to help them to the best of our ability. And yet, there's some things, listen, 
If there's a robe, put it on. If you got to get a blanket, put it on. If there's a scarf, tablecloth, whatever, put something on. Cover yourself. When Adam and Eve uh, ate from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and they're trying to cover themselves with fig leaves, Father Yahweh made them holy garments from coats of skin. An animal was slain to cover their blood, to cover their sins, rather, and through that animal, Father made them garments to wear so that their nakedness would not show. And so we want to do and be all that Father Yahweh is calling us to be. There's a magazine on um, the feast and ways of Yahweh. Father Yahweh has a way that he wants us to live, and unfortunately many people do not know how to live upright before him. And they just come in and go to the temple, to the congregation, to the church, any kind of way they want to. But he doesn't want us doing that. As we read the word, he says, decent and in order. We want to reverence him. We want to respect him. We want to love him. And then do the things that he's calling us to do. One stick in Yahweh's hand is another. Yasharal and Yada, Israel and Judah, as you may know it. Two, two tri house tribe and the ten house tribe. They're separated right now. But one day, they're going to be one in Yahweh's hand, a whole nation put back together. And so when we talk about to become one, uh, which is a magazine that we have, we want to be one. We want to be one with each other and one so that when Yahshua comes, we can all be gathered together. Praise Yahweh. Fivefold ministry and gifts, wages and sin and gifts of Yahweh again. The battle of Yahweh, the battle is Yahweh's, and Yahweh will fight for you, part one and two. Old Pass, <coughs> a magazine, a message on all about Yahshua. Many people do not know who Yahshua is. All of us were taught a different name. Father Yahweh honors our faith, and yet our faith must be based on the truth. And if our faith is based on the truth, then Father Yahweh can do in through and around us the things that need to be done. He's not going to leave us ignorant. He's going to show us exactly what we need to know so that if there is something that we didn't know, if we're his, if he's calling us to minister, he wants us to minister his word in spirit and truth. And that's how we want to worship him, in spirit and in truth. There's a magazine called, Can, I mean, the message called, Can America and the World be like Nineveh? The question, can we be like Nineveh? When Nineveh was given the word that Father Yahweh was going to destroy them, they repented from the king on down. They put on sackcloth and ashes. And for three days, they, nobody ate anything. The babies, the cattle, nothing. Well, can America be that way? And I want to say no, because everybody's not going to repent. But from the king on down, they repented. <clears throat> Another message that was done is Father Yahweh's trumpet. Um, a lot of times people say, well, we don't need to do the old covenant. We don't need to do it. But I want you to understand one thing. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, um, 13 through 18, it's talking about the feast of blowing of trumpets. When we're looking at that scripture, um, Yahshua, I mean, uh, Shaul, you might call him Paul, Shaul is telling them. He said, but I would not have you to be ignorant concerning them which, uh, um, which are asleep, that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. Our hope is knowing that Yahshua is coming back. Our hope is, is knowing that as many people have died already, all the way back down to Noah and Abraham and all the righteous ones that were coming up, they already died. And yet, how are the dead raised? The scripture shows us. And yet, it says, for if we believe that Yahshua died and rose again, even so, them also would sleep in Yahshua will Yahweh bring with him. Because Yahshua died, listen, Yahshua died for us. Yahshua, 
first was resurrected himself. And because he was resurrected, those of us who believe in him, as I shared, are either going to be resurrected from the dead or changed in the twinkling of an eye. And so um, no matter how it happens, there's got to be that resurrection. The scripture says, for this we say unto you by the word of Yahweh, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of Yahshua shall not uh, prevent them which are asleep. In other words, we can't stop them from getting up. They're going to be the first. The, the dead in the Messiah, Yahshua, are going to be raised first. It says, for Yah Yahshua himself shall descend from heaven with a shout of the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of Yahweh. Listen. The trumpet, the shofar trumpet is going to sound. The dead in the Messiah, Yahshua, are going to be raised first. And those of us who remain are going to be changed in the twinkling of an eye. Real quick, from life to death, right back to life. A fleshly body turning to a spirit body. And that's what we have to have. It says, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them to meet Yahshua in the air, and so shall we ever be with Yahshua. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. During that time, they thought that the resurrection had already happened, but it hadn't. And because it hadn't, we know that we must believe by faith that Yahshua is the resurrection. He is the resurrection, the truth, and the life. Yahshua the Messiah, because he was sent into the world by his father, he completed the work that he needed to do on the earth. And yet, he's also completing some other things, even right now, making intercession for us. Another uh, subject is get your house in order. Listen, our uh, houses where we live, where we lay down, listen, they can always get in a mess. But our spiritual life, we got to have our lives in order. The only way to have them in order is to know Father Yahweh's word, to know the doctrine. When I was called out of the Baptist church back in 1987, I knew a lot of word. And what I had to add to that word or do with that word was to learn the doctrine. If we don't know Father Yahweh's doctrine, then we can't righteously do the things that he's calling us to do. But once we learn the doctrine and our mind is made up and we have a zeal to do what Father Yahweh says to do, then we can walk on those old paths at the straight gate on the narrow road and do what Father Yahweh says to do. But if we don't know what his doctrines are, Passover and unleavened bread and don't, take, don't move your neighbor's landmark and what do you do? On the Sabbath, we don't cook. We don't cook on the Sabbath. We cook our food during the preparation time on Friday, done, um, Friday daytime, as man calls it, the sixth day. And so if we are Yahweh's people, Father Yahweh's people, we have to find out how to live for him. We have to find out what it is that we need to do. Another uh, subject done here is, I shall live and not die to declare the works of Yahweh. Another one, questions from our viewers. Let us ask of Yahweh. Persecution and judgment. Yahweh's judgment is in the land. You know, I've been sharing that for some time because Father Yahweh told me to share it. Yahweh's tired of sin and his wrath is increasing and judgment is in the land. Back in uh, 2009, Father Yahweh gave a prophecy to be given and I shared it here. Father Yahweh said he was tired of people calling him and his son by names and titles that he did not give. And because he did not give um, titles as a name, we're saved by the name of Yahshua. And if we really understand that Father Yahweh is calling us out of darkness, hallelujah, he's calling us out of darkness into his marvelous light. He wants us to serve him, to worship him, to honor him, and honor him in truth. When we're looking at the word and we're seeing the truth of his word, all we can do is obey what he's telling us. It says um, obedience is better than sacrifice. In the old covenant, he never really wanted our foreparents 
to do a whole bunch of uh, animal sacrifices. He wanted them to obey. He said, obey me and live. But if they disobeyed, then death and destruction were coming. So if we really look at today, listen, a lot of times, back in the day, back in, the, oh, I want to say the 90s, one of the brothers asked me, he said, where does the weather come from? And I told him, I said, Father Yahweh sends the weather. So he said, really? And I said, yes, he was blind. So I read the scripture to him in a Job, 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 no J, 37. This is what we read. It says, at this also my heart trembles and is moved out of his place. Hear attentively the noise of his voice and the sound that goes out of his mouth. So the sound goes out of his mouth. It says, he directs it under the whole heaven and his lightning under the ends of the earth. After it, a voice roars, the thunders, he thunders with the voice of his excellency. And he will not stay them with, when his voice is heard. Yahweh thunders. When you really think about the fact we have hurricanes, tornadoes, whirlwinds, you know, some things are the same things, cyclones, different countries may call them different things. And yet as we're looking at the word, it says, after it, a voice roars, he thunders with the voice of his excellency. He will not stay them when his voice is heard. Yahweh thunders marvelously with his voice. Great things does he which we cannot comprehend. You know, a lot of times people say, he's trying to tell us something. He's trying to tell us something. They'll say, I've never seen it so hot. I've never seen so much rain. I've never seen so much snow. I've never seen so much heat. Listen. We're in the last hour, and it depends on what we do with this word. If we hear and we obey, listen, hallelujah. But if we hear the word, or somebody's been telling us over and over and over, and we say, uh, guess what? The storms are going to increase. All kinds of things are going to increase. When Father Yahweh said he's tired of people, calling him and his son by names and titles that he didn't give. He said he did not give his son the name J-E-S-U-S. -S. He gave his son the name Yahshua. And Yahshua means Yahweh is Savior. He said he's tired of sin everywhere, in the business, in the home, in the church, in the congregations, in the assemblies, in the temples, wherever people say they are worshiping him. He said he is tired. And so after that, he named five sins, homosexuality, materialism, greed, rebellion, and divination of spirits. Just those five. But listen, those five, listen, if we think about some of the things that are happening, as I shared maybe in the previous program, Father Yahweh loves us, but he hates our sin. He loves us, but he hates our sin. Now, if we're doing things contrary to what his word says and we don't have a mind to change from it, if somebody is giving us some direction, some good counsel, and we're saying, I don't think I need to do that. Listen, whatever happens, it will be that person's own fault if destruction or Father Yahweh's wrath falls on them. Going back into Job, Job chapter 37. It says, I'm going back to verse 5. Yahweh thunders marvelously with his voice. Great things does he which we cannot comprehend. For he says to the snow, be you on the earth, likewise to the small rain and to the great rain of his strength. He seals up the hand of every man that all men may know his work. Then the beasts go into their dens. They go in and hibernate. The beasts go into their den and remain in their places. You, listen, the weather was so warm that all the animals began to came, come out of their places where they were hibernating. It says, out of the south comes a whirlwind and cold out of the north. Up in the Arctic, up in Canada, here well, where we are, Pittsburgh, New York, Cold weather, cold weather, and yet out of the uh, south comes the heat, the heat. We know heat rises. 
and yet it's showing us by the breath of Yahweh, frost is given, and the breath of the waters is straightened. You know, sometimes they show you how the water has frozen up so they can go out and skate or they can do uh, ice fishing, all kinds of things. But it says, by the breath of Yahweh. It says, also, by watering, he wearies the thick cloud, he scatters his bright cloud. So there's clouds all over the place. Sometimes they're just clouds that pass by. Sometimes they are clouds for rain. And yet, Father Yahweh sends the rain, and yet we know that mankind has the ability to see those clouds and cause it to rain, uh-oh, when they want it to rain. But look, are they going against what Father Yahweh said to do? When Father Yahweh sends famine somewhere, sometime, most of the time, 99 and a half percent of the time, if not 100, it is because of the people's sin. And so if people are not doing what Father Yahweh said to do, then look, the drought comes. There's going to be a famine in the land. The famine's going to be worse than the famine that was down in Egypt. Listen, Father Yahweh tore up Egypt, and yet it's beautified right now. But there's going to be a famine around this world. There's already a famine for his word because when I go somewhere, nobody had, I don't even see any Bibles when I go anywhere. We're supposed to read from Yahweh's word. Read from his word. All these messages that I've done, <laughs> even typing up these magazines, it came out of his word. You can't write your own thing. You must speak Father Yahweh's word. That was a command he gave me. He said, speak my word, my people will hear. And yet he has said, come out from among them and be you separate. Listen, Father Yahweh has his way that he wants us to walk, and it depends on, listen, what we do. So back to verse 10. By the breath of Yahweh, frost is given, and the breath of the waters is straightened. Also by watering, he wearies the thick cloud, and he scatters the bright cloud. And it is turned round about by his counsels, that they may do whatsoever he commanded them upon the face of the earth. The weather is coming from Father Yahweh. It's coming from Father Yahweh. And if we understand that, then it's time for everyone to repent of their sin. We could avoid, listen, as a country, as a nation, as a world, we could avoid some of this, these things that are happening, but because everyone is sinning, or let's put it this way, because a lot of people are still practicing sin. We don't want to practice sin. We're supposed to be kept by this word. But it doesn't say that maybe we can't slip up somewhere, but we don't want to practice sin. It says, and verse 12, and it is turned round about by his counsel that they may do whatsoever he commands them upon the face of the earth, in the, of the world, in the earth. He causes it to come, whether for correction or for his land or for his mercy. I did a message uh, back, ooh, a long time ago, and I guess I've done it a couple times. It's called Father Yahweh, Not Mother Nature. Father Yahweh is the one who sends the weather conditions. Father Yahweh knows whether we need it for the land, for mercy, or for correction. When the, when the land is parched and dry, he will send water. He will send water so the, the, the vegetables can grow. Those seeds that were planted can be nurtured and watered. <coughs> Excuse me. And sprout up. It says for, for the land, for, uh, for correction. Look. When a storm comes, anything, any kind of storm, and people are washed away, the beaches are being washed away because people are going on the beaches naked. He said if somebody is naked, cover them. He didn't tell us to go outside naked. Look, we may have all done it, but he said stop it. It's time to stop. Find out how to live before him. So. For the land, for, for correction, for land, or for mercy. He knows if, if, if there's been a famine, if it's really been hot, he knows how to 
cool it down. Cool it down. If it's really been cold, he knows how to send the heat, put the sun out, and, and let us be warm. And it depends on what Father Yahweh wants. It's by his counsel. Father Yahweh, not Mother Nature. Father Yahweh, not Mother Nature. We have a magazine, or I mean a message on Yahweh's judgment is in the land, Father Yahweh's truth, Father Yahweh's 11th hour, Father Yahweh's prayer warriors. There are those of us who pray, who pray and ask Father Yahweh's mercy upon not just ourselves, but upon our loved ones, upon our neighbors, upon our friends, and even on our enemies. Because some people who are enemies could become Yahweh's people. So we want to learn how to love one another. We want to see how to do the things that Father Yahweh would have us to do them. And if we're doing that, listen, it's a blessing. Listen, I've been sharing over these course of these 25 years. No, oh, and maybe I, in the beginning I didn't always do it right myself. But when women are in the ministry, they're supposed to cover their heads. And I've seen, look, and I want to say a lot of rebellious people, but it depends on what each person does for Father Yahweh as to what's going to happen with them. Uh, our heads being covered show that we are honoring Father Yahweh. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 tells us that if any woman prays or prophesies with her head uncovered, she dishonors her head. Now, if she's married, she's dishonoring her husband if her head's not covered. If she is a Holy Spirit-filled woman who has been called by Father Yahweh and her head's not covered, she dishonors Yahshua because Yahshua would be the next in line to be her head. And then ultimately she would be disobeying or not reverencing Father Yahweh. A man should not pray with his head covered. It says, every man praying or prophesying, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4, every man praying or prophesying having his head covered dishonors his head. Now, we have to think also about what did Father Yahweh write in the Old Covenant? We know we live in a Westernized society, and sometimes they want us to do things different than what Father Yahweh says for us to do. We have to obey what Father Yahweh is saying to us. And if we obey him, listen, many blessings come. And if we're not obeying him, then all we can do is, it's, it's going to be a crying time in a minute. But we thank Father Yahweh for what he is, has allowed us to do over the years. We know that as we continue to speak these words, um, that... Father Yahweh is calling a people for his name, the people of Yahweh. It depends on what each person does as to what's going to happen. We praise Father Yahweh for you. My prayer is that you will, <coughs> excuse me, have a, a desire to come to the congregation, 342 Sylvania Avenue, and hear the word, learn whatever you don't learn. No, Yahweh bless you and keep you in Yahshua's name. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. What a hope, blessed hope, we have in Yahshua. What a hope, blessed hope, we have. For he has stretched forth his hand and gathered us in. What a hope, blessed hope we have. What a hope, blessed hope we have in Yahshua. What a hope, blessed hope we had. For he has stretched forth his hand and gathered us in. What a hope, blessed hope we have. Hallelujah. What a hope, blessed hope we have. What a hope, blessed hope we have. I found it in him, a way out of darkness. I found it in him, 
Sweet peace for my life. I found it in him. A reason for living. Now I'm satisfied and I need not look anymore. I found it in him. A way out of darkness. I found it in him. Sweet peace for my life. I found it in him. A reason for living. Now I'm satisfied and I need not look anymore. I found it in Yahshua. A way out of darkness. I found it in Yahshua. Sweet peace for my life. I found it in Yahshua. A reason for living. Hallelujah. Now I'm satisfied and I need not look anymore. I found it in Yahshua. Hallelujah. A way out of darkness. I found it in Yahshua. Sweet peace for my life. I found it in Yahshua. A reason for living. Now I'm satisfied and I need not look anymore. Hallelujah. Now I'm satisfied and I need not look anymore. Now I'm satisfied and I need not look anymore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah anyhow. Hallelujah. Don't let your troubles get you down. Hallelujah. When those troubles come your way, hold your head up high and say, Hallelujah anyhow. I'm singing hallelujah anyhow. Hallelujah. Don't let those troubles get you down. Hallelujah. When those troubles come your way, hold your head up high and say, Hallelujah anyhow. Hallelujah. I'm singing Hallelujah, anyhow. Hallelujah. Don't let those troubles get you down. Hallelujah. When those troubles come your way, hold your head up high and say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, anyhow. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, anyhow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, anyhow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, anyhow. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father Yahweh. I really love Yahweh. Hallelujah. I really love Yahweh. what he's done for me. Faith is the victory. I love him. I love him. I really love Yahweh. I 
Yahweh, hallelujah. I really love Yahweh. You don't know what he's done for me. Faith is a victory. I love him, I love him. I really love Yahweh. I really love Yahshua. Hallelujah. I really love Yahshua. You don't know what he's done for me. Faith is a victory. I love him. I love him. I really love Yahshua. I really love Yahshua. I really love Yahweh. Hallelujah, praise Yahweh, praise Yahweh, praise Yahweh, praise Yahweh, praise Yahweh every day. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Father Yahweh. Thank you for Yahshua. Thank you for your love and your joy and your peace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.